For all of us to be hanging out away from home, fantastic. Someone brought up the idea of pills. One man's died after taking drugs at a music festival in Cumbria. Yeah, I was the middleman, unfortunately. Christian Pay has passed away. Simon's actions were drug supply. I didn't tell him how worried I was. I was handed a 16-month custodial sentence. Everything that was running through my head is, what's prison going to be like? Some of the most dangerous people in the world could be in there, and, you know, me, who's just got caught up in all this mess, is on the way there, and just really didn't know what to expect. You've got all your belongings with you, you just drop them, and then the, the door shuts behind you. From that point on, is the kind of reflection time you've got saying, you know, I'm here, this is what's going to be happening for the next 16 months. Sitting there, you know, your head's in your hands, you're in tears, don't really know what to do with yourself. He said, I don't think I'm going to last. And I said, you will. You've got to. I started pleading with all his friends on Facebook. If you're a genuine friend, start writing to him. We need to keep him going. We need to keep him strong. Some did, some didn't. I think they didn't want to get mixed up with this guy who'd been classed as a, a drug dealer. I had to do my crying at night when there's nobody about. And to this day, he doesn't know. I think the ecstasy pills that I've taken in the past have they've all been as they should, but obviously you just don't you don't seem to know what's in them, and that's that's the problem. They could be pressed and cut with anything. Um in our case it was uh the toxin that was in there as well. A substitute called PMA, which was, I think it was 75% more toxic to take a tablet that we'd taken than just a standard ecstasy tablet. And we were none the wiser as to what was going to be in it. We just thought, you know, nothing of it. It's going to be absolutely fine. But it wasn't. I can't describe it, I just can't describe what this had done to me, what it had done to everybody else, what a few stupid pills had done to everybody's life. It still doesn't feel real now. You know, I still think when I go home, he's going to be there. And I see people talk on Facebook and stuff and post pictures with him, and I'm like, oh, that's Chris. It's just weird that I'm never going to be able to speak to him again. The last thing he ever said to me was, we'll be OK. And it took a lot of me to realise that, you know, like, that could have been anyone, and it wasn't my fault, and I couldn't have saved him. We're not immortal we've lost a good friend. It makes you realise that life can be cruel. It's such a, like, a traumatic event. It's bound to push people apart. We all wanted to distance ourselves so much from the pain that we've actually stopped seeing each other as a friendship group altogether. And even some of us have, have lost contact with everyone and don't really go out the house and socialise as much as we used to. Even though it's two years later, I still think all the repressed stuff, it's still deep down and each time I like go out and see the strobe lights or 
hear something that reminds me of that time, it'll take my mind back to Kendall. I couldn't even begin to explain like how much one little pill could change everyone's lives. It's cost Christian's life. It's cost a massive part of my life. It's cost a part of everyone's life that knew Christian. You were left scarred by the death of one of our best friends. I don't know, it's just, it's just really, it's really difficult. But I just wish he, I just wish he was still here, that's all. It's really, really difficult. They were being kids. I didn't blame them, ever. And there's no way on this earth I will ever blame Simon for the death of Christian. There is no way I will ever make Jordan feel guilty for surviving. Never. Never, ever, I'll never, ever make them feel bad. I love them to bits. Well, you get to kind of look back and take myself accountable for what happened. I was the oldest, the most responsible person there, and I, I made the bad decisions. And this is, this is how it ended up.